Yellow has never been my favorite color. In his book, The Jesus Creed, author Scott McKnight says he felt the same way, actually, until he learned about the Dutch painter named Vincent van Gogh. Van Gogh was a troubled soul. In letters to his older brother, Theo, he admitted to terrifying struggles with depression, self-doubt, and all kinds of fear. He spent time in mental hospitals, in lengthy seasons of seclusion, and these dark periods of emotional despair. When at his worst, both his letters to Theo and his paintings, they reflected that darkness. Paintings like The Potato Eaters and The Round of the Prisoners indicate a deep sense of loss and restlessness. His life took on despair, and he gave that despair color. Yet there were seasons when Van Gogh's paintings tell another story. When he returned to the roots of his faith, he found an incredible sense of healing and focus. His life was changing and so were his paintings. The muted and twilight hues made way to bright shots of yellow and orange. In the classic Starry Night, we see the glimpse of hope shining over a dark evening church. And in The Sower, Color and brightness bathed the painting, signifying a time of healing. His life took on hope, and he gave that hope color. Yellow evoked for him the hope and warmth of the truth of God's love. By the time he painted the raising of Lazarus, he began to face the truth about himself. The entire picture is blindingly bathed in yellow. In fact, Van Gogh put his own face on Lazarus to express his own hope of the resurrection. Van Gogh always struggled to hold on to that truth, but he understood that yellow tells the whole story, that hope can be real, that life can begin again because of God's love. Each of us with real yellows or metaphorical yellows can begin to paint our lives with the fresh hope of a new beginning. of the resurrection is that each of us can begin all over again.